Good morning, good morning, good morning, and praises be to the Lord God Most High. I come to encourage you this morning to keep standing on the Word of God, no matter what you encounter on this day, to know that you have the victory in Christ Jesus. In Jeremiah 33rd chapter, verse uh, 1, 2, and 3, it says, Moreover, and this is in the Amplified Version. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the second time while he was still shut up in the courts of the guards, saying, Thus says the Lord, who made the earth, hallelujah, glory to God, who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things, fenced in, hidden, which you do not know, do not distinguish and recognize, have knowledge of and understand. Truly the Lord is on our side today and God wants us to be reminded that he will continue to speak to you by divine revelation no, no matter what comes your way to keep on putting your trust in his word keep standing and holding fast to the the revelation that god is giving you the wisdom god has poured into your heart doesn't matter what you go through in this life you got to keep on encouraging yourself in the lord god almighty because he says thus says the lord that means God is trying to get your attention today to let you know, hey, I'm the one that made the heavens and the earth. I formed it. I set it in place. I created you for my glory. Everything about you is about me promoting my glory through your life. You got to continue to recognize and know and understand that it's all about God today. It's not about your circumstances. It's not about your trials. It's not about your tribulations. It's not about the persecution. It's not about the backbiters and the haters. It's not about the anger, the malice, the jealousy. It's not about anything you encounter on this day that makes you uncomfortable and, and pulls you out of your character. But I found out the key. That when my mind is stayed on the Lord, the devil cannot pull me out of character unless I allow him to do so. You have to know within yourself that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And God said, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. God promises to show us the mysteries of the gospel, to show us his heart, to show us how much he loves us. In every situation we find ourselves encountering, God says, call upon me. Sometimes we call on our mothers and fathers. They can't help us. We call on our friends, our sisters, our brothers, our associates. We, they can't help us. But God says, you can call upon me and I will help you in every situation you encounter. Hold fast to the confession of your faith without wavering. Don't allow the enemy to make you make you a stagnant in your walk with the Lord. Don't allow the enemy to pull you out of your character and get into the mindset of the flesh. Because the mind of the flesh is an enemy of God, but the mind of the spirit is life and peace. And God promises us that when we call upon him, he will answer you. He said, I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things. It's up to you to recognize that the word of God is working inside of your heart today to fill you up with a refreshing wind of his spirit to fill you up, to let you know that no matter what the devil tries to do in your life on today, God says, you can call upon me. Guess what happens? He says, I will fence you in. I will hide you. He said, the truth that I have revealed to you he says, he said, call up for me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things fenced in and hidden. Great and mighty things. What are you expecting God to do in your life today? What are you expecting God to do to change your life today? Last night we talked about the battlefield of the mind. And we found out one, one point that's so vital. That every day we need to have the, our priorities lined up with the word of God. That we want, we're going to think healthy thoughts. We're going to think godly thoughts. We're going to live according to the dictates of the Holy Spirit. And not according to our desires of our flesh that leads us to destruction. And God says today... He said, I will show you great and mighty things. When you expect God to show up in your situation, you expect God to show up in your, in your illnesses, expect God to show up in your finances, expect God to show up in, in everything that's going on in your life, 
good, the bad, and the ugly, guess what he would do? He would show you great and mighty things, which you do not know, nor distinguish and recognize. We can't even discern these things with our natural finite minds, but they're only discerning by the Spirit. He said, the mind of the flesh cannot comprehend the things of the Spirit, neither can they know the things of the Spirit. Why? Because they're spiritually discerned. So when you give yourself to the Lord wholeheartedly and allow Him to come inside of you, God promises He will build you up on the inside of you with such a great confidence. No matter what comes your way, you can keep on standing with the full armor of God and know that God loves you with an everlasting love. And by his loving kindness, he has drawn you to himself. This is a, a, a word of encouragement for us today to know that God loves us. God loves us. God loves us. God cares about us. Even when folk don't seem to understand why you feel the way you do sometimes, sometimes we get heavy hearted, we get burdened down, but people don't understand. They want to misuse you, want to mistreat you, want to abuse your, your gifts and your talents. They want to drain you of your anointing. God says that you can call upon me and I will answer you. I will strengthen you. I will encourage you. I will build you up. I will heal you. I will set you up high in high places in the heavenly realm. I will set you above the enemy. Then so when the enemy comes in like a flood, you keep the faith. You keep on trusting. You keep standing on the word of God and know that the word of God shall prevail against anything the enemy brings against you. So Father, this morning, I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit working in our lives, oh God, to will and to do according to your good pleasure. It's your pleasure to give us the keys to the kingdom. It's your pleasure that you, Father, release your authority in our lives, Father God, to stand against adversities and trials and tests. It's your pleasure, God, that we have the mind of Christ to stand against the hostility of the mind of the flesh, oh God. It's your pleasure, God, that we walk by faith and not by doubt, fear, and unbelief. It's your pleasure, God, that we stand on the word of truth today, oh God, building ourselves up upon our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. God, can we realize without you, God, we're empty. Without you, we're nothing. Without you, God, our, our cup, Father, dries up. But Father God, you said you would fill our cup and cause it to overflow, God. Let that be an overflow in our lives today, oh God. That when we get up in the mornings, we wake up with you on our minds, oh God, recognizing that your favor is upon our lives. Your favor is a lifetime, God. I speak increase in the atmosphere over your people today, God. I speak favor over your children today, Father God. I speak the love of God over your people today, God. That everything about them, God, will line up with the word of God. That you will release your promises into their lives, oh God. And I come against every demonic force. Satan, the Lord, rebuke you. You have no authority. You have no right. You have no, no, no legal access into their lives anymore because we're covered, we're shielded, we're protected, we're fenced in, we're guarded by the name of the Lord. And the name of the Lord is a strong tower and we, the righteous, run into it and is safe. And today, God, we thank you that we're holding fast to the confession of our faith, oh God, without wavering. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And we know, God, that this is the confidence. God, we have great confidence in you, God. We have a great, Father God, ability to keep trusting. Father God, we, we know that we're strong in the Lord and in the power of his might today, God, to keep holding fast to the confession of our faith. We're able, Father God, to keep depending on you to never leave us nor forsake us, God. And then, God, you said in your word that you sent angels to guard us lest we fall and dash our foot against the stone. And today, God, we decree and declare that we're not falling, God, but we're building ourselves up, oh God. We're not crashing, God, but we're standing still to see the salvation of the God, of the God of the Lord God, Jehovah, in the midst of our situation. Because the Lord is your name, God. You are Jehovah Rapha, God. You are a healer, God. So when sickness tries to inhabit our temples, God, we can stand on the word of faith with confidence. Knowing, God, that you sent your word to heal and deliver us, oh God, from all 
illnesses, all destruction, everything the enemy brings to, for our demise, oh God, that we can stand on the word of truth with, with power and authority against every negative, foul spirit that comes its way, oh God. Because we know, Father God, that when we call on that great name, oh God, Mountains would tremble at the sound of your voice. The earth would quake, oh God. Father, you said in your word, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Father, let God arise today. Let your enemies be scattered, God. Father, we make mistakes, oh God. We fall short of your glory. Sure enough, God, we've done things that did not bring your glory. But nevertheless, God, we thank you for the advocate. We thank you that we have the great high priest who live and abide in us, oh God, to make intercession for us, God, that when we don't know what to pray for, the Spirit himself on the inside of us pray with groanings that cannot be uttered, oh God, with the natural man mouth, oh God. But because of the Spirit of God inside, he knows what we need, God. So he intercedes in our behalf when we don't know what to say, God. But one thing we can say, Father, we can call on Jesus. We can call on Jesus until we get an answer, God. We can call on Jesus until we see the favor of God. We can call on Jesus, Father, until we see mountains move in our lives. We can call on Jesus, God, till our minds are changed, oh God, from doubt, fear, and unbelief, to have the mind of faith, oh God, to keep trusting in your holy written word, because your word tells us to trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him. He shall direct thy path. Your word tells us, God, some may trust in horses. Some must in, must, may trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of our God. And we thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. You all stay encouraged on today. No matter what comes your way. Don't allow the enemy to have ground or leeway in your life today. But you keep holding on to God's word. You keep standing. Keep trusting. Keep depending. Keep holding. Keep resting in the finished work of the cross. Keep receiving the victory and the promises God has for your life. And know that you are an overcomer no matter what comes your way in the mighty name of Jesus. So God bless you. Stay excited about Jesus. And know that God loves you. I love you too. And God is on your side. Have a blessed and a wonderful, powerful, extraordinary, awesome day on purpose. You hear what I said? Make it a great day on purpose. Don't allow yourself to have a miserable day. But make it a great day on purpose. Because God is great. And his mercy endures forever in our lives as long as we continue to tr put our trust, our confidence, and lean and rely and rest on him. No matter what comes our way, having stern all the stand, we can keep on standing in the victory. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, cuz. Thank you for joining. Beulah and Lashanda, God bless you. I just felt that this morning that God is compelling us to get into a, a position Get back into our position of prayer. Get back into our position of interceding. Get back to the place of consecration. I heard God speaking this morning, even on the prayer line earlier this morning, that we got to come back together in one accord as a people of the Lord. But I just want you to stay encouraged today. The, the enemy is going to try his best to knock you off course. But you got to know who you are and the power you have against him to keep resisting him. The Bible said resist steadfast in the faith. And when you resist steadfast, that means you're unwavering in your steadfastness. You're going to keep on holding ground. You're not going to be off balance. You're not going to be knocked off course. And God says keep on standing in the fullness of Jesus Christ as your conqueror who conquered all of your foes. So you all be blessed on today. Until next time, shalom. May the peace of God Abide with you forever. God bless.